This week on TGC News, the AA-12 Semi-Auto is here, super lightweight 22s, and the Gemtech vs. Smith & Wesson lawsuit gets dismissed. <laughs> TacPak offers some of the highest quality firearms, EDC, and survival gear in a monthly package shipped right to your door. One month could be heavily focused on gun parts, the next on some sweet survival gear. They're always mixing it up and sending out stuff you will actually use. We are switching up the codes again, guys. TGC Knife will get you a free pocket knife. TGC Tool will get you a free pocket size multi-tool. And TGC Grip will get you a free X-Tech AR grip when you use those codes over at TACPAC.com. Welcome back to another episode of TGC News, the only gun news show that covers things you actually care about. My name is John Patton. You guys destroyed the like button last week. I said, let's see if we can hit 3,000 likes, and we just blew past that. Now, this week, let's see if we can do 4,000 in the first 24 hours. That would be awesome. So smash that like button if you enjoy watching TGC News. Now, how about some gun stuff, right? That's why you're here. First up this week is something absolutely glorious. Let's paint a picture here. Imagine there was a gun that was in a bunch of cool movies and was this super ultra mega cool shotgun and it had a drum mag and it was just this room clearing badass shotgun. This is the AA-12. It's a fully automatic 12 gauge shotgun. This is the magazine. Imagine that same gun was featured on a TV show called Future Weapons, and then imagine that you couldn't buy one because they were only ever made in open bolt machine gun format. Well, that gun is real, and it's the AA-12. This is a proper bucket list gun for me, and now I can actually buy one because they are finally releasing a semi-auto closed bolt version. The gun was originally designed in the 80s, and I'm sure the idea of a civilian legal variant was in the minds of the designers all along, but we didn't really see significant progress in that direction until about 2016 when a company called BC Engineering stepped in and made some major steps towards that. They also made this video that features some really bad gun handling to sell this to some kind of larger manufacturer. Go ahead, boy. Eh? I, I'm not a hunter or shooter and I generally hold the gun loose. So, here goes. I think this thing is empty. Send this video to you because we're offering you the rights to this shotgun. Either way, the companies behind getting this out to the public, Tactical Superiority and Soul Invictus Arms, have come out with two different models. And both the standard model and special edition model, named after one of the designers, will only be limited to 1,000 shotguns each. They also won't be sold through normal methods and will only be listed on arms list and gun broker. Delivery is expected in December of this year, and the price? Well, it's only $3,250. Anyone want to buy an arm or a leg? <laughs> the reality here is that this gun is a novelty, but it's one of the coolest novelties around. I want to know what you guys think. Would you throw down a few months house payment on this thing? Sound off in the comments and let me know. And in, yay, new guns, news. Nice. 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 2A Armament, makers of some of the lightest ARs on the market, have just released a couple new 22 long rifle variants of those same rifles. Both the Balios Light and the Athon tip the scales at a little over three and a half pounds. We handled these things at SHOT Show this past year, and I'm telling you right now, it feels like an airsoft gun. This thing does not feel like a real gun. Blowing through the features, they come with a 16-inch fluted and threaded barrel, one of 2A's M-Lock handguards, either the Balios or Athon receiver sets, a BCM charging handle, Magpul grip, ALG trigger, some titanium parts in the lower, and most importantly, 2A Armament's own 22 bolt setup. There are a bunch of 22 long rifle conversions and dedicated guns out there on the market, and this is probably going to be the lightest one out there. Now, my understanding is that the reason they did this is to overcome issues they found in some of their competitors' products. However, 
When I go to the website and look at the recommended ammo list, it seems they may have some issues of their own with this setup. I don't know about you, but I want a 22 that can eat anything that I feed it. I don't want to have to pick and choose from a certain list of ammo. Then again, there is some trade-off for premium ultralight guns. MSRP on these things is $13.99. Looks like we're back at the bus depot, and it looks like the not-so-struggle bus is going to pull out first. Franklin Armory, the company that sort of coined the term binary trigger and makers of the vaporware known as the Reformation, have acquired a company called Osprey Defense. For those that are unaware, Osprey Defense makes one of the more unique piston systems for AR-15s on the market. I actually purchased one of them years back, way before TGC, and it's run like a dream for me ever since. Thousands and thousands of rounds. It's called the Ops 416, and the kind of claim to fame with that is the cup in which the piston rides is actually curved. It's not just a round thing, it's actually curved to be tighter to the barrel. It's a neat concept. Anyway, Franklin Armory seems to be kind of branching out and diversifying their business, likely because of the looming ATF regulatory changes and how that could affect their business. As always, time will tell. And here comes the struggle bus. According to a recent article on Guns.com, the lawsuit filed by Gemtech against their parent company, Smith & Wesson, has been dismissed. Case is dismissed. We're done. I reported on this originally back in February of this year. Gemtech claims that Big Blue didn't stick to the deal in their purchase contract and even squashed a major sales deal that would have netted Gemtech millions of dollars. Well, the district court in Idaho said that Gemtech failed to provide evidence as to why the case should be argued in Idaho as opposed to Delaware, which was the state outlined in the contract. So essentially, Gemtech sued them in the wrong state and the judge tossed it because of that. The judge stated that the language clearly and unambiguously manifests that the state courts of Delaware would be the exclusive forum for a case like this. Gemtech says that that section isn't binding, and that, boys and girls, is why you read contracts before signing them. Oh man, what a, what a mess. Tactical Baby Gear offers some of the coolest diaper bags, baby carriers, and day packs for the mom and dad that love freedom. Whether it's the Deuce 2.0 diaper bag combo with the bottle and dump pouches, the Day Pack 3.0, or maybe just the Tactical Teddy, you are bound to find something that works for you and your tactical baby. Also available are the new bulletproof panels that are level 3A Kevlar soft panels that fit inside either the backpack or diaper bag. To get squared away and get 10% off your order, use the code TGC10 at tacticalbabygear.com. Our gun tuber of the week is someone that a few of you guys have suggested recently, and after going digging and investigating, I'd say they have some really solid production, super clean videos, and really well-delivered information. That and the backdrops where this guy films are freaking gorgeous. He is definitely not what I would call a straight up gun channel as much as a gear channel, but nonetheless, the videos are really, really solid. Say hello to Kit Badger. Hi, I'm Ivan with KitBadger.com. I work at not only bringing you thorough videos, but also concise. A while ago, I did a video on installing the Ghost Edge Trigger Kit into this Glock 17. On the upside, I will say the trigger press is absolutely lighter than your factory Glock trigger press. It is the Surefire Pro Comp. Really awesome little muzzle device. Basically uses the same geometry as the Surefire muzzle brake. Hey everyone, it's Ivan, KeepAdger.com, here to bring you another gear review. And today we're talking about this guy, which is the Bofang BF-F8 HP radio. Hey everyone, it's Ivan, KeepAdger.com, here to bring you another gear review. And today we're talking about this guy, which is the Spirit of Systems Microfight Chest Rig. Definitely make sure you go get subscribed and tell him TGC sent you. And of course, as always, there are links to do that down in the description. And yeah, that is it for this week's show. Guys, you know what to do. If you didn't like this video, hit that button. If you did like it, hit like, get subscribed, and consider supporting us 
via the links down in the video description. We have an Amazon affiliate store as well as links to purchase cool shirts just like this one. And of course, links to find us all over your favorite social media platforms. As always, thank you all for watching. We'll see you soon. The shirts worn in today's video on The Gun Collective have been provided by Patriot Patch. Closed captions have also been brought to you by Patriot Patch Company. Be sure to click the link in the video description to check out all of their great products, including their cleaning mats.